Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the drive on garage parking sensor. So basically, this helps you park inside your garage so that you're not too to the front, too way to the front, or too way to the back. In my garage, there's a door at the front and a door at the back, like most garages. And if I park too close to the front, I can't open the front door. And if I park uh, too close to the back, um, I have a hard time opening the, the larger door. So that's basically it. And it uses some sort of ultrasonic signals. It has a programmable range finder sensor and has those LEDs, which I assume it'll be green when you're getting close. Yellow, it'll mean to slow down and red, stop. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is the charger. It is a unique charger. So it's not a USB charger, so don't lose it. Nine volt battery. Okay, so this is strange, but anyway, that goes there. And that goes there. Okay, so I'm going to go over the instructions off camera and then we'll go to the garage and install it. Okay, folks, so here we are in my garage and I'm going to install it here. I already made several attempts to install it over here, but it doesn't work. So basically, it has to be at the very at the um, frontal part of whatever you're going to put it on. So you turn it on over here. Oops, I meant over here. And now we can change the distance. For example, let's give it some more distance. Okay, that's the maximum. Oh, I think I took So let's see, let's reduce that distance. Okay, so let's see, I'm walking. Yeah, that's too much. Let's increase the distance. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's good. So now let's try it with the car. Okay, so I'm inside my car and we're going to test this. Let me turn on the engine. Okay, so let's reverse a little. Okay, so it says yellow. Okay, so let's move forward a little. forward okay red so let's stop there okay so that works let's just give it another shot let me reverse let's go forward Okay. Okay, so now let's do a more realistic test. So I'm going to go all the way out because now we got our measurements and we're going to see if it works. Okay, folks, so we are coming in. So 
So it's there somewhere. I'm gonna zoom in. Green, yellow, red. Okay, so I put the car in park and let's go check it out and see if it's good. Okay, so we go out. Let me zoom out. Okay, so I still need to adjust it a little. That's too close. Yeah, so I have to increase a little. Okay, so that's the maximum distance. So let's see how that works out. Let's try this again. So we turn on the engine. Let's go back out. You can see it doing something, but who cares? Okay, so let's go back in. So let me zoom in. So this is gonna be the maximum distance. I'm gonna try to be accurate. Green, yellow, red. So let's go check that out. Okay, that's too far away. If you look over here, that's way too far away. So let's reduce the distance by two. By two, okay, let's see what that does. Okay. Okay, so it turned off. Let's go back in. Let me zoom in. Green, yellow, red. Let's go check. Yeah, still too much distance. So let's decrease it by two more. Okay. Let's see that. Okay, so that's perfect right there. So now let's give it another shot. So we found our distance. So let's go all the way out. Okay, we're all the way out, so let's go back in. Let me zoom in a little. Green. Green, yellow. Red. Okay. Turn on, turn off the engine. And let's go out there and see.
perfect. That's the way I like it. So I can close the door, no problem. And if you go to the back, I can close the other door. Okay, so it works out. So let's go back indoors and let's give it the final thoughts. Okay guys, so we are back from the garage and as you saw, it has a very annoying beep. So the idea that I have is to disassemble it and remove the PSO buzzer. It has a PSO, I'm sure it has a PSO buzzer in there or a speaker. And I can tell from here that it has some kind of PSO buzzer. I wanna just cut the cable to the PSO buzzer so it'll just be left with the lights and no beep which is way too annoying so let's see if we can disassemble it and cut that cable there are six screws as you can see one two three four five six one two four five six so now the big moment let's open it up and see what's inside so unfortunately the PSO buzzer is hiding. But where is it hiding? Okay, it's down here. It's in there. So let's see what we can do about that. So we have to remove those four screws right here. One. Three, four. Okay, so there's our PSO buzzer right here. So that's what we need to destroy somehow. Or at least plug. Okay, so this is it right here. I'm gonna take it off. We don't need this. And it's gone. So now let's just reassemble everything. I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so I reassembled everything. Here's the piece that came out. This is called a PSO buzzer. Even though it's not labeled as being a PSO buzzer, that's what it is. So let's leave that alone. And let's plug it back in and let's see if all that beeping is gone. And hopefully we didn't destroy it. So let me dim the lights. Turn it on. Good. That's way better. So there's no beeping anymore. You can hear that. Let me turn off the fan. Okay, I turned
turn off the fan so you can actually hear. I don't know if you can hear that. So that's the ultrasound uh, sensor. But as you can see, the um, all the beeping is, is gone because I took out the PSO buzzer. But it's still functioning the way it's supposed to. Like when you get it like that, it's too close. And that's telling you it's getting close. I'm trying to get it on, get it on green. Well, either way, either way, it's working out. So, okay, folks, so we have come to the end. And um, my final thoughts as, as far as this go is that it's very nice, very good, works perfectly once you get it installed and you have it adjusted. So that's an issue. I think it's not fun. I didn't find that to be any fun. Um, installing this so I used a double-sided tape let me show you what it is this is what I used the t-rex so it can hold up to 45 pounds so that's an option um, this the package included this if you want to drill but um, my home ha is made of very thin wood, so drilling is not really an option. And um, I don't have a drill anyway, so this is not good for me. But this worked perfectly as we saw earlier. So everything works perfectly. And the only thing is that you have to be f fairly close to a uh, outlet. The cord is 1.7 meters long. And it'll say, here we go, 1.7 meters long. So that's the only consideration. Make sure you uh, have an outlet in your garage. If you have a garage that doesn't have an outlet, this is not going to work. Even though you can install batteries, um, the problem is that with, if you install a battery and it says on the instructions that it's only for short-term use, uh, you wouldn't want to do that because um, this is constantly turned on. So even when you're away, it's going to be turned on all the time. So that's going to drain a battery. So you want to plug this in. You don't want that. Listen to it. It's constantly turned on. So you don't want to rely on the battery. So if you're going to, if you're thinking about using the battery exclusively, forget about it. Don't buy this. Um, you're going to need an outlet and you're going to need an outlet at the right the right place in the garage. And as far as the beeping sound, I was very annoyed by it. So you have two options. You can do what I did. Um, pull out the piezo buzzer and that will completely silence it. Or you can put a piece of tape over here on those holes and that will reduce the noise, the noise level. So it's up to you what you want to do. I am a bit of a tech savvy person. So that's why I, uh, I um, disassembled it and pulled out that component. But most people won't want to do that or will be too afraid of messing it, something up. So just put a piece of tape over here on those holes and that will reduce the sound. So in a scale of uh, one star to five stars, I think I'll give it... Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll give it four stars. I think it's very good. But... This beeping should have not been included. I mean, I don't know why they wasted money on adding that, which is pointless because you don't need it and it's very annoying. So all you need is the light. It's like a traffic light. When did you see a traffic light with a beep? Never. So you don't need the beep. It was a waste of money for them to put that in and it was a waste of time for me to have to disassemble it. So four stars, four stars out of five. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.